Well, I've seen this act before. And Levani down. Right to the grass to hold him off. He Last time. He can't do it. I don't believe he can do it unless Bobby messes up. There he goes to the bottom, Daryl. They're going to be side by side. I'm can't, first you can't Bobby's do. on the half side. You can't pass over there. There's no way. What's that? One last charge right here, man. It's all over, boys. What's that? The last best here move comes. made outside. too soon. Here he comes. Outside. Outside. Just like in Atlanta last March. Now he's not going to be able to do it. I don't think they're side yes, by side. Yes, he is. Here he comes. Jimmy Johnson, he the 48 car, he did it, three in a row, Jimmy Johnson, by two one hundredths of a second, I thought when he got beat off the turn two, it was all over, but he drove it in on the outside and won it. I lost one earlier this year to Carl Edwards that way, and I knew if I could get to Bobby's quarter and get a spotter to stay outside, I would have the momentum back to the start finish line. White flag. White flag, one to go. Boy, this is a moment. Alan Long set on the pole at 181.439. He will become only the fifth driver in 35 years to win the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte, North Carolina from the pole. Checkers are out, and they are down, and it is Jeff Gordon victorious this evening on this Memorial Weekend at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Try and get a word with this young man. Jeff, a fantastic day for you. A great call on the pitch. You guys deserve to go to victory lane. Great job. Uh, I'm speechless, man. I mean, this is the greatest day of my life. Will be the first driver in the 60-some year history of NASCAR who has made more than one start and won on every track on which he has competed. Coming around to lead his 377th lap of the race. <laughs> to take home his 47th career win. The candy man comes. Kyle Busch gets it done at Charlotte. He is now won everywhere. Yes. You guys are amazing. Awesome job. I can't thank y'all enough. The Coke 600, I've dreamt of this race since I was a kid and, and being able to win this race and always watching the, uh, the all-star race and then the 600 the following weekend and being able to come out here and, uh, and now win. Johnson is no man, in no man's land now. They said he had five laps short and he's still going. How do you make up five laps? You're running out. Yeah, run out. He's out. He's out. Austin Dillon, the new leader, as Jimmy Johnson is out of gas. Three's gonna make it. Oh, that three's got it made. He's down on the bottom, coming around turns three and four. Here but he he's got to get there. On fumes, Austin Dillon wins at Charlotte for Richard Childress Racing. Dow and Chevrolet. Wow! <laughs> and look I at the crew chief. Justin Alexander gets swarmed by his crew. My gosh, man. Cannot believe it. It hadn't sunk in, man. Uh, I can't believe it. I, I just really focused those last laps, and, and it worked out. I, land, I ran out at the line, and it gurgled all around just to do one little spin. Green flag. Two to go. Boy, Dale Earnhardt Four Jr. Cars. got a great restart. He's out of gas, and there they go. And Burton goes around. A lot Caution of smoke. They had a little bit of a wreck back here. No caution. What a topsy-turvy finish to the Coca-Cola 600. And Dale Jr. is scooting away. Uh-oh. Uh oh he's slowing, isn't he? 150,000 people on their feet. Jr. Earnhardt. is slowing. He's out of fuel. He's out of, out of gas. And as that Indy, the leader at turn four, does not get to the flag. Perfect. Perfect. The closer wins it. <laughs> and finally takes the checker. Feet. We needed 500 more feet. Everybody did a great job. Today we were lucky. I told him at the beginning of the race, I said, we hadn't fixed this thing in two weeks. There's no way you're going to fix it today. And uh, Came up. Quarter of a gallon short, pint of gas short. Delana Harvick, tears of joy.